Ha, ah, there you are. Let me introduce the team. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Shigeru is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune, but to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Monsta and Lila! Hmm... That would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. in Mondstadt for the first time to the sight of a dragon flying around and wreaking havoc on the city. With the help of some trusty companions, the protagonist successfully defeats the dragon. But then, the dragon suddenly turns into a beautiful young woman! Uh, huh? Human, let us work together to build a better future. The love story between human and dragon begins today? Well, that was an unexpected development. What happened to the grand adventure? What? But that's so misleading. Hmm. Out of a maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. The story certainly goes in an unorthodox direction, and the dragon girl sounds destined to be a hit character. Approved. What the heck? Hmm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with Chapter 1. Let's move on to Chapter 2. Huh? Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. 
If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, chapter two, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Hmm? What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. Before it came to what? What's happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. It's your arch nemesis for life, appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Your treat? Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course. Everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. All right, cool. Now let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now. For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! Oh, oh! Does this mean your inspirations come back? Now, the protagonist arrives in Liyue and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. Only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. With the help of the Qixing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. Hmm. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? Hmm. I give it a 9.8. The story is fun and action-packed with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. All right, well, let's just hope Zhang Li doesn't mind. Great, well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? The strict principal writing of the Inazuma Academy decided to confiscate all light novels. With the help of Lady Kitsune, the protagonist defeats Principal Raiden in an exam before the throne, forcing the principal to abolish the literature hunt decree. Are we absolutely sure we can publish this? We can and we will. I think it's great. One thing though, we'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the omamori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Whoa, so we're really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. <laughs>